here at IMSH 2018, we're launching the Simman Vascular, which is based on Laidol's Simman 3G platform. Mentis, we provide the technology to go inside that controls the anatomy, the blood vessels. It's all based on endovascular technique and team training. So inside the Simman, our technology is based inside. We're focusing on acute myocardial infarction. We're focusing on acute ischemic stroke and vascular trauma. So the whole purpose is about the team training aspect, the handovers between the different departments. So at the moment, if we look at training between intradepartmental communication, complication management within these specialty endovascular areas, this is what we're focusing on right now. So the same, it's got all the same functionality as the Simman 3G. We have two access portals where you can put the endovascular devices, the catheters, the wires. We ha it's based on Mentis's VIST engine, where you can have complications, you can have different anatomical changes based on the wiring and the catheterization. We have the patient monitor, which is Laerdal's control. Everything is integrated. The purpose of the integration is to ensure that the teams, we can challenge the teams, we can test the team, teams uh, to make sure that their patient outcomes are improved and improve productivity. The Simman can be used in a, uh, from the onset of the complication. So we've run a few scenarios in Europe where the Simman would have a heart attack out in a residential area. Then he'll go through, the EMS will come, they'll stabilize him, they'll send through his, uh, his vital signs, his ECG, through to the hospital. We'll go to an assessment area and then all the way through the assessment onto the cath lab table to perform the intervention. That's when the team come in, the anesthesiologists, the technicians, the nurses, uh, everyone's involved, including the cardiologist or the neuroradiologist or the trauma surgeons. So if I just show you now, so I've already preset, we've got the catheters that come inside, inside the Simman here. So on the fluoroscopy screen, just to the left, I'll just start moving the wire. So we see the wire moving now up the aorta. I'm going to take the wire over the aortic arch to get closer to the heart. And as we go over the arch, we see the wire gets stuck. This is probably the right subclavian. So I just want to pull back slightly. I don't want to damage any blood vessels. And I'll pull the uh, wire down, control the catheter, turn the catheter around over the arch and now we come to the heart and one of the functionalities we have is a, uh, a 3d image so you can actually see the different angles the different positioning of the heart and what we're going to do we're going to go into those smaller blood vessels we're going to open them up we're going to aspirate them we're hopefully not going to perforate anything and we're going to we're going to fix this guy so what i'm seeing now on the screen is the uh, the patient monitor we can see that he's crashed so on the Laerdal interface we're just going to deliver shock and as we know with the Simman 3G, we can use real defibrillation on this guy. And I'm going to turn off the 3D mode, and I'm going to continue the procedure. So I'm going to come over, continue with the guide catheter, and I'm going to try and get into the small blood vessels into the heart. And this is going to give me the stability and the guide catheter so I can continue the procedure. So I just inject a little bit of contrast, just a little bit of contrast into, and we see on the screen, so now I can adjust the C-arm to get a better view of where the problems are. And I'll inject again so I can get a clearer view. So now we can see a more flat view of the screen. I can see here that we've got some obstruction here on the small vessel. So we'll go in with a small wire, uh, a balloon, a stent, uh, an aspiration catheter if needed, and hopefully we don't come into any more complications.